Ooh wee, ooh wee, my goodness. My young Padawans, my degenerates. Where do I even begin with this fucking video? <laughs> Where do I begin? Oh my goodness. I don't think nothing, nothing what my friends told me about the show, nothing that I've seen on the interweb could prepare me for how dumb and stupid the acolytes is. <laughs> um, so for those that don't know who I am, my name is Mr. Degenerate, uh, and welcome to the channel. I usually don't talk about Star Wars stuff because I think, you know, it's a little too, the, the fandom can be a little bit, a little bit too toxic for my liking. Uh, and I dropped out ever since kind of watching Book of Boba Fett and not being satisfied with that. Um, and I was like, you know what, let me give uh, the newest Star Wars show uh the acolyte a chance all right i was like let me try it okay it's lightsabers you can't fuck that up all right it's jedis it's set in the old republic or no the the high republic era so this is like before shit went south like this is like the height of like the jedis and the sith and whatnot and i'm like wow that's a cool idea and then i'm like oh wow this is gonna be like a murder mystery an investigation type of show i'm like fuck yeah i'm all in this and then i watch and binge watch all eight episodes and holy fuck holy fuck i don't want to say this is as bad as book of boba fett because i don't think book of boba fett needed to exist but this shit right here this shit right here motherfuckers no this is a absolute no no this has to be the most laziest most dumbest star wars show i've ever watched bro uh and to get on to it i'm just gonna go through a why i think this show is the dumbest star wars show but before i even begin of course it's gonna be timestamps, so if you want to just skip around you can but before i even begin let me just bring up my my greatest issue with this show is disney plus itself now i've been very vocal about this I've even said it for um, the Marvel content of Disney Plus. This whole eight episodes to 14 minutes or 30 minute episodes does not fucking work. All right. Why is it Disney, the most biggest company of all time, one of the biggest companies of all time of entertainment cannot afford to do 12 fucking episodes long shows i don't get this i don't understand this this is ridiculous and for the acolytes this show is trying to do so much it's trying to be uh, a, co a conspiracy show it's trying to be a show about revenge and and redemption it's trying to be a show about covering up secrets and whatnot it's trying to do so much things but it does not have time to really dive into characters and character arcs and whatnot. It doesn't have time to really flush things out. Everything's moving in a fast place or nothing's happening at all. So the story pacing of this show is really hurt because of the eight episodes. There is literally two flashback scenes that is literally the same, just told by two different perspectives. And it's the same shit. You could have erased the whole flashback scene with the twin sisters. Uh, when we heard it the second time by the Jedi's um, perspective. You could erase that whole shit. You could erase it. You could get rid of it and just have um, one of the Jedi's by the name of uh, Soul. Have him just explain what exactly happened and just do a quick little flashback or a quick little um montage of what happened instead we're wasting time there's literally a fucking moment in the show where they're just walk for a whole episode they're just walking around a fucking forest and nothing's happening i'm like bro 
what the fuck are we doing we are wasting fucking time we are wasting energy and this is the biggest fucking issue i have with fucking disney plus and how they handle these shows i think it works when it comes on to like mandalorian because that's like an episodic type of show at least the first season that's like an episodic type of show but motherfucker for this show hell no it needed way more time in the oven because none of the plot threads that they set up or have done was executed really well which leads into another problem i have with the show is osha and maid our main protagonist or should i say osha is our main protagonist she's the one that starts off the story um she is being framed for a murder she did not commit her twin sister um may um caused it and she's trying to clear her name so the whole idea and premise of this show is that they're trying to take basically uh the the revenge of the sith arc where anakin starts off as this good character but then eventually goes to the dark side and osha's trying to go through that same arc they're trying to go through that with osha and may by the end of the show they go through different arcs or they go through different uh ways osha becomes was once a jedi starts off as a jedi but then eventually becomes a sith while um may becomes uh starts off as a sith becomes a jedi that's a cool premise i think that could have really worked again this goes back to the problem of not letting this shit um uh, marinate <laughs> uh because a lot of this shit is rushed a lot of this shit is rushed so i never once bought may or osha's turn to the fucking light and dark side especially osha osha shit made no fucking sense you mean to tell me you mean to tell me the guy who fucking murdered your best your your best friend that you went to jedi academy with and soul's new apprentice gets slaughtered by this new by this new sith dude and you're completely fine but you know he was in the water you know he was showing off the bbc he was showing you that sith bbc and you just flopped sides to the dark side it made no sense there was no like conversation between uh osha and may on like why you know they're going at why may in particular is going after all the the jedi like there's no conversation like that there's no reason why both of them would flip sides i would have done i would have loved if there was at least one episode and again i just complained about them walking in a fucking forest and doing absolutely nothing i would have loved if it was just osha and may sitting down throughout the whole show sitting down in one episode and them talking about their philosophy why they changed what made them decide this shit and then by the end of that episode she's looking at soul uh osha's looking at soul in a different way and may is looking at this whole sif shit a completely different way by that conversation they look at each other completely different by the end of it and they do absolutely nothing like instead what we get is when osha finally meets may what does she try to do she tries to shoot her <laughs> and miss and it's like what i'm like where's the conversation between these two where's the where's the reason that may i mean osha becomes a fucking sif where, where, where's that moment again it just feels like they wanted to have that Anakin turn to the dark side moment, but they wasn't willing to do any of the fucking homework. You know, say what you want about um, George Lucas and how he handled the prequel series, but there were key things. There were key, major key things that happened that led Anakin to the dark side. And that was fucking awesome. That was dope. 
it may not have been executed right and hell uh, you know when we got the clone wars from what my friends have told me because I've, I've only watched like the first season of clone wars the clone wars did even more of the heavy lifting but if you just watch the the, the prequel trilogies there's clear beats where you can see okay anakin's gonna turn to the dark side there's clear beats especially when you get to the clone wars sh um show i mean movie it's clear beats so for them to not do those same beats is ridiculous it just didn't make sense of her turn not only that may just say fuck it i'm going to the uh, i'm going and not even do the uh assassination anymore i'm turning i'm turning hilt came out of nowhere i was like wait why are you becoming good now I'm like, all of a sudden, because you saw your sister, you had a change of heart. But just a few minutes ago, you literally called your sister a, 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 a Jedi scum. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Why are you backpedaling now? You never had a conversation with her. And plus, she tried to kill you. So again, I, again, I, I don't get where this show was going with these characters. <laughs> like, what are we doing? What are we doing with these two characters? This, this is lame. And then by the end, they have their heartfelt goodbye. And I'm just like, wait a fucking minute. May, you still should be going to jail for all the fucking lives you killed. You killed like two master Jedis. And you're not going to go to jail for that? Like, you're everything's cool just because your, your mind is wiped? And you tried to kill your sister. That burnt down the palace that y'all were living in you don't see the stupidness in this show like a lot of this doesn't make any fucking sense and it just gets even weirder and dumber as the show goes on so again the ideas were there i i, I again I, I don't know what the fuck happened in the writing room with these two characters like this is a cool concept but they decided oh let's just have characters out of a whim just change their opinion there is no lead up to any way or anyhow of people just changing fucking um their opinions on shit and that goes even more so when we get to the fucking jedis because the jedis are all fucking stupid you literally throughout the whole fucking show there are master rank jedis being assassinated and instead of doing the logical thing, which is to inform the council that we are having Jedi's master rank, not Padawans, not Jedi's, not Jedi Knights, Padawans being assassinated. I mean, master being assassinated. What did the show do? Well, we need a convenient way for no one to know what the fuck is going on. So yeah, we're not gonna tell the council. You literally have Trinity, a uh, Trinity actor. Uh, shout outs to Trinity actor. Um, she's in this fucking show, by the way, and she's she's and her fight choreography is pretty good. She's in the show, and she's like usually the 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 one that is the smart one. She's the smart, level-headed one. Out of nowhere, near the end of like the second, uh, I think it's episode seven or the 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 second. Uh, retelling of the flashback of how everything happened out of nowhere she just flips the fucking script and is like uh don't tell the council uh, don't tell anybody that this shit happened i'm like are y'all fucking stupid <laughs> like what soul soul oh my god i feel so bad for the squid game actor bro i feel so bad i can tell this is his first time learning english for this role and I think he's doing a fun, phenomenal job. But man, I feel so bad for him because his character is fucking stupid as well. You mean to tell me he is getting punished because he killed or accidentally quote unquote killed the 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 the, the twin's mother when she gave no warning of what the fuck she was doing. She kept she was gonna just turn into some demon shit and so did the only thing that was possible which was to slay her 
and out of nowhere near the end it's like oh no like you you was gonna kill me i was just gonna leave with my with my daughter like no no i was just gonna leave i'm sorry uh i was gonna take my my other daughter i was gonna take may with me uh osha wanted to stay behind you could take osha and making all the jedis just look like fucking idiots and that's impossible like how is that possible that all the jedis are fucking idiots in this show like each and every every jedi is fucking stupid like the the black jedi with the fucking miles morales haircut he's throughout the whole half of the show before he dies he's like oh i don't trust i don't trust osha but i'm like bro are you not looking at her fucking haircut also where's your padawan <laughs> Are you not looking at the haircut? They both have the same... They have two different haircuts. One short, one is longer. One has a tattoo on the fucking top of her head. The other one doesn't. What the fuck is wrong with you Jedis? Are y'all all dumb? Like, again, I get this is the High Republic era of Star Wars. Maybe they're not well trained or well adept. But I don't buy that bullshit. Again, these are master rank Jedi Knights. Fucking... Jedis, Jedi Knights, Jedi Masters. These are like high level Jedis. You're not fucking with them, all right? So for them to just be dumb throughout this whole show is retarded. Then you have this green Jedi lady who sort of works as a, is a Jedi, but also works for the councils on do political stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, so you're gonna blame everything on uh soul or uh, on on squid game dude even though all that shit was not even on him again if you wanted to blame anybody for this whole shit i i would genuinely say why didn't you have the kid the the, the fucking uh padawan kid who by later on has the worst fucking beard ever first makeup i've ever seen like you can tell that shit was thrown together in the, in the last second i don't know why they just didn't leave his head his face um normal but make his hair longer i don't get that but whatever you have him who desperately wants to get home like his whole shit is that he desperately wants to get home why is it that you know he is constantly 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 talking about going home what the fuck does he have to go home to all right you're all you're doing as a jedi is protecting and serving the people and whatnot but why do you want to go home whatever but you know that's a good that's a good start why isn't he the one that is the cause for all this stuff he's a fucking padawan you have a fucking padawan in the story use him use him at the deciding incident that he was just too cocky he was too arrogant he was just this too much that caused all this stuff he's the one that slayed um osha and may's mom and you don't even have if you want to show that the that the light side and the dark side is not so different why the fuck is osha's mom <laughs> uh, again <sighs> why the fuck is osha mom manipulating this fucking kid this padawan to leave the area <laughs> like like i get it she don't want them to take the kids away <laughs> oh even though trinity comes in and literally says with your permission we would like to take the kids we are asking for permission they didn't come in there hostile or anything they just asked a fucking question so again there's contrivances in this fucking story that make the jedis look evil that was never the case in the prequel series the prequel series you may say whatever the fuck you want about the, the the jedis and you can say that they're incompetent you can say like they didn't oversee every they 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 wasn't they were like incompetent or that they didn't overlook certain things like or they were lazy you could say shit like that and i would not be upset in fact i would probably agree with you but they weren't dumb they wasn't as dumb as the jedi in this fucking series arrow the jedis in this series is a fucking dumb stupid they have no idea what the fuck they're doing it's like what the fuck it's like 
how many more dumbness can you make the jedis and the guys all the time in every single fucking episode are just dumb 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 I, and i don't like that i i genuinely remember the time remember when fucking obi-wan uh and the original series talked about the jedi and how prideful you you just hear it in his voice the pridefulness of the jedi and how cool they were if i knew if i knew the high republic jedi was this stupid <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness i would never if i was luke i would never want to become a jedi because y'all fuckers are dumb and that's another thing and that's another thing that this whole show theme is to show that the light side is just as bad as the dark side and the dark side has some redeeming qualities and i'm sorry the writers failed at this too because again throughout the whole show they make the jedis look like fucking idiots but the dark side ain't all that great either because as soon as may fucking changes her mind what the fuck does the sith dude uh sith bbc do oh he tries to kill may <laughs> like like as soon as he saw no purpose in her he tries to kill her the witches oh they, these these fucking jedis are on our fucking planet instead of trying to talk shit out what did they do not explain anything not explain that oh we're gonna disappear not anything i was like what the fuck are y'all doing and she manipulates one of the kid um the padawan so again the sith and i and i get what she what what the writer was trying to do they were trying to make you sympathize with the sith people with with people that join the sith and whatnot they're trying to tell that story and there's some interesting things in the show um, when BBC Sif dude actually talked about um, the semantics of the Sif and the philosophy of Sif and like how you guys tap into the, the the force a different way than the Jedi's do. That's interesting. But in no moment that I was like, yeah, I feel I I kind of root for the Sif. The Sif is kind of like dope. I was just kind of like, yeah, the Sith is still evil, and the Jedi's are dumb. <laughs> like, like the Jedi's are dumb, which I think they're dumb because they hide shit up. Which brings me into my my another problem is that this shit don't even feel like High Republic. Now, I've never read the High Republic stories or the Old Republic or whatever. I don't know anything about that shit, so I'm not even gonna pretend I know. But what I do know, and what I do know, is that it's gonna feel way different than the prequels. And for what I gather, that the Jedi, that the Jedi in this show are the most lying, manipulating, cover up motherfuckers ever. This is supposed to be them at their highest of their best of their best. And I expect shit from this from the prequels, but this shit just seems like it's the prequels, but even but worse. So again, nothing that they've done with the light side and the dark side to show them how different they are is is completely earned. Nothing, nothing that they showed. In fact, I just think that they insulted the Jedi's by making them come off as even more of assholes. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And then we move on to the lore breaking. Holy shit. Now, I'm not a lore mongerer like some of you fucking Star Wars fans. All right. I watch this shit casually. So I'm a little bit lenient on changes to the lore or adding additional shit to the lore. I, I, I've always been that type of person. Maybe if it's like Marvel or Spider-Man related, I'm kind of even more like I'm stern about it. But fuck me, fuck me, what the fuck? All right, so these witches, all right, and, and this shit just kind of like really confused me. So in the original series, 
um or the prequel series anakin was just born out of thin air like like just came out of nowhere uh his mom explained that she was just one day pregnant she had no partner she had no man uh although i always said that maybe um qui-gon could have could have sneaked in and got some pooms you know i've always said that qui-gon was probably hitting it <laughs> <laughs> like you know whoever knows and he just come back to be father um but it was interesting that was an interesting idea that these uh that the force and this is my theory the force creates life whenever there's an imbalance in the force so in the prequel era there was tons of jedi barely any sith so there was tons of jedi barely any sith so what did the force do to balance that out it created a a a force a high force sensitive um being whether that person becomes a jedi or a sith it depends on their life upbringing and whatnot but that to me was an interesting premise and here they break the fucking rules all right apparently as long as you know some fucking witches a witch can get you pregnant and you can just carry around a, a baby for nine uh a baby for nine months and you good to me that breaks canon i'm sorry but that's fucking stupid now i get it they probably did this shit and i don't want to be the one of those youtubers that's like woke shit woke that again i i'm all fine for everything being inclusive i get it they they probably wanted to do lgbt and i'm all fine with showing that side because Disney has done a terrible job at supporting the LGBT community, uh, at least when it comes on to the Star Wars. They hint at it, but they kind of like, eh, we're not going to touch that with a 10 foot fall. This show finally addresses it and finally has it, but now fucks with the lore of, of, of fucking the prequels. So, again, why the fuck did you have the witches create life? like that's stupid then that means anybody can create life as long as we know the witch's abilities anybody can create life so that makes anakin not special anymore <laughs> like like no these kids are the are the chosen one like yo as long as you learn some magic tricks from the fucking witches anybody can create life like that is crazy to me that is breaking the lore as it is and like and then again the, the the fucking bleeding crystals i understand that's a new concept for star wars i think it's a cool concept like that's a right right of passage of a sith a sith lord in order to become a sith like you have to bleed your fucking um your kaibo crystal that's fucking dope that's cool as fuck however it does not make sense with what the fuck we established before what we established before is that uh anakin turned fucking evil and his lightsaber was fucking blue osha becomes evil her lightsaber becomes dark uh red that shit makes no fucking sense that doesn't make any sense so why the fuck did anakin's lightsaber not turn red like like does anybody not get why that makes no sense and i've tried looking this shit up why why it would probably make sense why it wouldn't and it just doesn't logically make sense it just does not also how osha got her um got it to bleed red so fast makes no sense from what i from what i looked up dark vader one of the strongest sith lords of all time one of the bad guy of star wars it took him a few attempts before he can even fucking do it that shit is not a cakewalk the most strongest fucking sith lord couldn't do it on his first time osha able to do it uh -huh, in a matter of minutes i'm like that doesn't make any fucking sense like again i understand star wars is trying to be as conclusive trying to add more people into the fold but my god if we gonna add shit to the to the lore 
make it make sense this shit makes no fucking sense whatsoever and then there's just and then there's just so much dumb moments i i can go on a whole fucking rant and list but why did the fuck did the that little rodent thing why did that rodent thing um outed fucking may like why why didn't that rodent thing tell soul that may is on the ship that is that doesn't make any sense why did later on did the rodent thing sabotage the ship did he hear the fucking story um uh fucking squid game actor said and was like nah this guy's a fucking dickhead <laughs> like why the fuck is dark plagueis in a fucking cave looking like a creeper <laughs> like why like like let me guess y'all just threw him in there at the last minute to just be like oh, oh lord look what we're gonna set up for season two if we get a season two because you're not gonna get a season two based off of what everyone how everyone feels um just why wasn't yoda told about any of this stuff and if so why the fuck didn't yoda do anything <laughs> like what the f what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck why did why did osha and may have a hand-to-hand -hand fight and they're just copying each other's moves straight off like they're fucking reading each other's moves but they've been trained by two different masters that doesn't make any fuck off sense all right make absolutely no sense they've been trained by two different masters they should not have the same fighting style what the fuck what the fuck happened to the fucking rest of the fucking uh witches like after they possess um the rookie they just collapse <laughs> like did they just die of cringe did they just say fuck it this show's too awful they was like fuck it cringe death <laughs> like what the what the fuck man another dumb moment or something that's really not explained at all something that is really not explained is his um osha and soul's relationship why does uh, soul has such a fetish for fucking osha i don't get it i don't get it it show didn't have time to develop that relationship maybe it's because i'm just gonna assume maybe it's because he desperately wanted a padawan but yeah that, that, no <laughs> shit made no sense why couldn't soul why couldn't soul detect that it wasn't uh osha it was may in disguise the whole time made no fucking sense she literally has a she has a tattoo on her fucking forehead. She has a tattoo on her forehead. How do you miss this? How do you miss this, Saul? Saul, please, please, please explain to me how did you miss this? The last thing I ask is where's the where's the half naked ladies? If we gonna have all the guys in this show just take off their shirts, we got fucking Sif BBC walking around in puddles. Uh, we got one dude ironing his fucking clothes. <laughs> like, bro, like, if we gonna do all this, where's the women at? Where's the where's the women getting half ass naked, bro? Like, seriously, bro. <laughs> like, what is this? I will say this. I will say this though. I do have one positive of the show. Well, actually, two. I actually think the cast is is doing a pretty good job for what they're given again squid game actor i could tell this is first time doing english and there's actually one scene of him that's actually really good where he slams his um his hands down on the console and you can just tell by his face reaction that he, uh that he's thinking about that night of when shit hit the fan that was that was generally good uh the fight choreography is fantastic you know fantastic like generally if the emotions if the emotional shit was on point these would be the best fight scenes in a star wars um media next to um you know some of my favorites 
but as it stands you know they're just cool fight scenes uh, they're they're missing that emotional weight that to me star wars always had with their fight scenes but the choreography is really good with all that being said i'll say this if you like the acolytes you are entitled to your opinion i can understand if you like it because of the action scenes being really dope or like the cast is really cool but fuck me this is the worst star wars show next to fucking i want to say uh the book of boba fett because it's just stupid upon stupidness throughout this whole show whether that be osha and may's uh character arcs being completely written to be shit whether that be the disney plus model of only doing eight episodes and 30 minutes and not having enough time to actually flesh out these characters whether that be the jedi being fucking dumb and this shit not even feeling like high republic and the the phantom menace era you know so much laughable moments so much moments i'm just like what the fuck when you really think about it, it makes no sense i gotta say you know this is this is by far the worst and honestly i don't know how anybody that really loves star wars can really say this is really good but if you say that that's that's between you but to me star wars needs a fucking reboot and i've said this numerous times and i'm just gonna say it again this franchise needs a reboot a restart because disney is constantly fucking this shit up and it's clear that they do not have a vision or an idea of where the hell they want this series to go so just reboot it reboot it start it start it all over and do whatever the fuck you want if it's good people gonna fuck with it if not we just gonna move on to other things but sticking with the fuck what we have is not good we are so far i want to say six almost nine years into disney owning the rights to fucking star wars and the shit is still a fucking mess the shit barely has good shit in it so that's my little rant i'm sorry this video took so fucking long or is too long uh but if you're new to the channel please comment rate subscribe all that fun stuff uh let me know what you thought about the acolytes did you love it did you hate it comment below let me know and if so always more videos is on the way it's your boy mr degenerate signing out have a good one